What's different about the recovery right now is there's not a lot of demand, but because consumers aren't levering up, they're being more ju judicious in how they spend, but we've created a lot of supply. The second thing is try China is trying to build a uh, domestic consumption economy. By definition, if they're doing that, that means they're doing less uh, trading with others. Right. And so you've got what I would say is the biggest part of the either number one or number two in the global economy in terms of growth, depending by year, is now more inward focus. That's what Xi Jinping wants. Over time, it makes them more of a defensive, more self-reliant economy. Think about the U.S. We're 70 percent consumption. Largely, if we don't uh, shoot ourselves in the foot, yeah. we can have a pretty good economy. China has been largely fixed investment in trade. They've had to depend on exporting things to others. What they're trying to do is, say, make more of a domestic economy. Create internal demand because right. of a rising middle class. Exactly. But that is, um, as they do that, many of their partners are still betting on the old model, which was this global trade. And that's where you're seeing the friction. And those two models can't exist side by side? They can on a long-term basis, but we're in the here and now right now. And it's also occurring at a time when, uh, when the U.S. Federal Reserve, after many, many years, is changing its monetary policy. So you've got two things going on. The, the Fed you is mean it's raising its interest it's rates. It's raising its interest rates at a time where China is trying to liberalize its currency, and that's going to create volatility.